three. I thought I'd go live for a moment um, with Dan's designs. I'm I'm in the middle of a project. Um, I, I thought I'd kind of like to go over it with you and let you know what I'm doing. See how you're spending your day. I can be on here for a little bit and then probably to run as usual. Um, try to get these out here for you. This is what I'm in the process of making. Okay, first off, this is my uh, my skinny book. So I'm gonna try to get this on you just a bit better if I can. I just thought we'll turn on the camera. Let's see what's happening with everybody. This is uh, my little skinny bag. These were actually two pieces of cardboard that were in some sort of, of, of stuffing that, you know, I got out of something. I don't know. I saved it. And then I peeled off. I peeled the paper off and did a little inking on it. Hopefully you can see that. And uh, then I added my own paper to put over it. Um, then, of course, we decorated the top of it. The picture is twine. And uh, we have a little dragonflies that are going to hang down, dangle down on here. This, this is like a wire inside of this paper wrap. It's kind of cool. Don't know where I got it. Didn't get a lot of it, but I got enough for this project anyway. Just fine. Got some um, little um, paper type florals on here. This is a Prima flower and this is some um, poppy dyed lace. This is sewing tissue paper and some more lace. So we, and this here, I, this is like a paper that, it's a napkin that I decoupaged over 110 pound cardstock. Let me show you. They're on the on a piece of cardstock, and then I went ahead and mod podged over the top of it, so I have a little sealant on here, kind of a little, little bit. I put a matte finish on it; didn't want much of a shine, but something to seal it would have been great. So that's what I kind of used in there, just kind of tore off a little pieces of of what I could use, and I could have a decent looking one here. So, yeah, it's just been one of those days today, and I thought, well, I'm just going to go ahead and go live and see what all we can get into for a little while anyway. Hey, let me show you some other things I made. Check out this paper. Isn't that cute? And these are my scrap papers. And so then I put a zigzag, a wide zigzag stitch onto here, kind of like a Franken paper, but I've made a whole page of it. And this idea came from Daisy at Tsunami Rose. And um, it's good for I still used uh, just some black cardstock on uh, that one. And I used just some, uh, what's that called? You know, just brown paper stuff that you, uh, yeah, that's what I used. So this is, before I get off, again, this is my little, uh, this is my little narrow book. She's a uh, she's a little journal. That you can I don't know use for anything. It's, it should be able to slip and slide into anything. This is some bow bunny paper that I've gone ahead and used as my backup. This is some uh, coffee dyed papers that I managed to stitch down in here and then the closure here in the back. So what I'm doing today is I decided I had these little mini uh, tab dividers for your little mini notebooks and I decided that I would like a full one of those you know inside my my book um, of course I don't want this color but I thought this might be kind of handy to have so here we go we are about to make them my book required a three and a half wide by a and then I put a quarter inch fold line. So you really wanted three and a quarter. My pages would be three and a quarter, but I wanted a quarter inch fold line so I can use like some of my scrap that Colin has this uh, tape to use adhesive. And I was just gonna put it onto here, onto maybe this side, stick to the book. One thing about this stuff, be aware, there, there's very little 
room for correction. You you really got to have it in its right spot in order to use that. But it does stick. It's very adhesive. So I really like that idea. This is one I've covered. Just made out of some cardstock. And, and I went ahead and I had this piece of paper. And I thought, well, I'll cover one. See what it looks like. And I think we're going to be okay. I cut my notch in. And I'll show you how to do those things too. So. What I needed, I wanted to cover mine front and back. So I've got like a leftover manila file folder. So we have a piece of, of card stock out of something. And it, that's that's just what I, I cut up and used. And again, my, you're going to have to measure whatever your book is if you want to make these. My book, I had to cut three and a half wide so I can have a quarter inch fold line. I've gone ahead and cut my pages out. I've gone ahead and increased in my fold line. And uh, as a matter of fact, I put a fold line in each one of these, too, of my cover papers. Um, so like this one here, you know, we go ahead and read it here on. The other thing you can do, but I wouldn't do it until I put my tabs in, is you can stitch around these and, you know, kind of add a little bit more decoration up on there. I think that might be kind of fun to do. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and try to get, I need my glue pal. There we go. A little blue pal. So we're going to go ahead and try to get this put together. Like so. Alrighty. Then I'm going to come back onto here. Like that. So here's my fold. I scored my line right there. So I want to be sure that I'm matching my lines up the best I can. I just thought it'd be a lot easier that way to you know, kind of band them and keep them in where you want them at. Yeah. So here we go. Now, I'm going to I'm going to take the bone folder. I'm going to make sure this is all laid out here a little bit. Yeah, this should be fun. Here we go. Go ahead and trim where I need it to be. And then let's see. This one here I think might be a good color. Use on the back of it. That's a little bow bunny paper. I'm trying to use that my papers and I thought, well, this might be a good way to do it. I don't know if Anybody else has that issue, but I have really got to use up some of these papers. And some of them I've had to just simply, you know, give them away because I, I could never use how much I had. It was just amazing. So anyway, that's okay. I hope somebody else can use them and enjoy them and... You know, just keep themselves creative and happy all the time. That's all I want. So, here I go. Really thick down near the bottom. So hopefully, it's going to do what you need it to do right in there. Mm. Now, let me try to get. This one folded. I just trim the way you want. Make sure I check that it goes. Doesn't really matter much to me.
Now we're going to try to locate the other thing you want to watch out for when you make one of these. If you're going to tab it, where does this string come? Mine's going to come right about into the center. So the last thing I want to do is put a uh, tab out here where it's going to get wound up into the center. So what I'm going to do is take like this is a fine sample where you need to pop one in. Top to bottom is going to go in right about in here. See how we're going to miss? We are going to miss this closure here. And if you're going to have a, a type of closure on your, your book, be sure that this tab is out of the way. That's all I'm going to say. Okay, so this is a pretty good guideline. We'll just use it for the first one. There we go. I'm going to leave it I'll probably put it away. I go ahead and mark where I'm going to want my uh, corners to be at. Okay. And then I'm going to take this. And I'm going to push it. This one first. Right off into here. See now this little this little head isn't going to come as far down as what I would want it to, but I think we'll work with it. Let's see what we can. Oh boy, this is thick. Jeez. And then I'm going to place another one. And hands, you may want it even longer than that. If so, adjust it now. Do what you want to do with it. Adjust it to where it fits. How you want it to fit. Comes out what you want. She dokey. Now we have our little notches cut in here. Use your envelope punch board. Cut your notches in. Okay. And you got that done. Then you may want to take this little guy here. Go ahead and take the pencil marks off of there. And I'm also going to line him up a little bit. Okay. I'm just going to take the right amount into here. Shut him out. Put this off. Now we will have sky. Uh, let's just try to fit him off into here and see what he looks like. He's, he's probably going to have to see if he wants to squish down a bit more. Not bad, but I think I'd rather have him down a little bit more. Let's see where my fold and the fold's not down. It's fine. If you put the fold on there, it's going to go down like that. Okay, so there you go. That this is going to fit properly because this one really is going to fit properly. It's going to be good enough. Okay, so that was where this one here lined up at. Now, I guess I'll do another one. That's kind of what we're doing. 
in here. Uh, not a difficult thing to do. I'm probably going to be doing some other things as the day goes on, but I'll be in and out is what the problem will be. Okay. Who do we want to put together this watch? How do we do that one? Oh, yeah. Cute. Um... I think we're going to do one like this. Let's just show them like this. See what we think. I'm not going to attach mine in yet because I probably will want to stitch around. I think that would be kind of cute on this guys. And see what we think. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, this one inside. I want to take you that one on this side. Um, the other thing that I thought I could do is if you could take some of like your little bags, perhaps. And do a little paper on the front of them, and you know, it, it would be a fit between the fold line and the front. And then you can, you could also run tags, see inside of there. So you would know your this file, this little mini tag here, holds a tag. So you'd be able to run across it, I suppose, a little bit quicker, something like that. You never know. Oops. This is getting low. Keep that good. Stay in there or not. Give it a shot, haven't we? Okay, so now I hope everyone is having a great day. I'm just early rising it today, trying to get some things. Done. So you just kind of smoosh it down. It must be kind of cute in your bags if you're, you know measure them and figure out which size is going to go for you and then you'll be able to you know figure it out i know you will so that's what we do isn't it we just figure things out hold this back Yeah. Here we go. We should be able to now try to get that second one up in here, which I'm going to take this one here and I'm going to run mine plug up. Looks like maybe one and three quarter inches. Let's see what I got. Don't do that. Oh my goodness. That's about an inch. Let's see. One look at. One look at is going to be right about there. And that'll work. We can run it just like an inch. I think. Turn it around. But if you were to run that about an inch out, I think that would work. It's fine. Yeah, I could go a little bit higher. As long as you have room to notch right an inch, then I think you'd be okay. 
But you're going to want a notch here, and you're going to want a notch right about here. Hey, Liz, what are you doing today? I just randomly came on here. I just wanted to show people how to... I'm just trying to make these uh, little tab folder files for my journal. This thing is fat too. Come on. And um, yeah. see where I go with it. Oh, oh, you're just resting? All right, girl. That is a great thing to do. I tell you, I was up late last night and got up early this morning. But I'm too old to be burning that candle like that, but you know, couldn't help it. Had to get it done. I'm just going to take the scissors on this end because there's no point in taking my cutter on it. Yeah. Resting is the best way to go for it, Liz. I did find my little paintbrush that I plan on uh, using here. I'm pretty excited about that. I just haven't figured out what I'm going to do. But I am kind of excited about that paintbrush thing. Kind of excited you threw that out there. Oh my. You haven't got a lot of sleep, girl. You need to get some rest of this. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so this is what I'm doing. I agree with you. Some sort of a theme. Yeah. I think you might be right. But I don't know. No. That way, if you don't do a theme, then everybody can kind of do what they want to do, I suppose. Maybe that's kind of what it is. Maybe we should look at it that way, too. I don't know. That's why you the bossy lady. You be the bossy lady. Do that bossing thing. Here, let me show you something. <laughs> yes. I like that autumn thing. I just, I'm, I'm a big autumn type person, and I don't know exactly how mine's going to come out, but yeah, it'll come out. It'll be all right. <laughs> Look at this. Here's my little skinny file um, journal. And no, this is where my little ties are going to come in, is right in the center here. Okay. So if you make one of these, pay attention. <laughs> <laughs> Pay attention to what I'm doing. Okay. I'm going to. These are the little mini tabs that I'm making. I got the idea out of. Um, well, Tsunami Rose has actually made little um, little file thingy tabs, I think. I think she's done little file thingies. But I wanted to do mine like what you would buy in a store, a mini tab and uh, kind of decorate it for the book but these are for like your little smaller journals you can flip them in there you know for dividers and i thought that might be kind of cute in a journal so let's try it out and see so i put a quarter a quarter inch fold line on mine i'm going to use uh, this little scrapbook.com my, my tape you know and i was going to pop one in here okay so we've got that one right there okay and then we've got this one here i think that's graphics fairy paper and bow bunny on the back i'm trying to use up my papers liz gotta get i've got to get a thinner amount in here okay let's just say you're going to go with it right there so now i've got i've got that dividing up top here which would be pretty good and it's also going to miss this uh, closure thingy so then I want to do two more and I'll probably just flip these wouldn't I 
to get where you want to, yeah, punch them out. The other thing, you take these cute little bags, which I know you're aware of, and they would fit on here. See, they fit on this size of journal anyway. They would fit on here. So if you wanted to do a tag, you could do a little tag in there. And then you would always know my tab page has a tag if I need one. There we go. Got that problem solved. Now, who else do we have here? I cut another one out. This type of coloring. Uh huh. Um, let's see. Did I like that together? Uh, this is my first time of making a journal that narrow, and this was just some packaging that I I was cleaning out my craft room with. I know this is amazing for me, but I was I was going through the packaging stuff that I had been saving, and I thought, oh, those are cute, you know, and so I took masking tape is what I did, I don't know if you can see it or not, but this is masking tape in here, and I laid the two pieces where I had enough of a, of a center showing, and laid them down to where it could fold, so that when you put your center in, you know, you had room for it to bend back and forth, yeah, forgot where we were going at with this, but this was the first time I've ever done a narrow one and they're kind of fun to do i gotta say they don't they use up your scraps which is really really good i think you would like that i do like that great swap yeah oh oh no i wouldn't mind at all that's that's fine i love being an inspiration believe me <laughs> love it what do you think about these papers together should i do something different I guess it. I guess it wouldn't matter. I hope I just don't like to do twice, twice the ice. Yeah, I think I'd rather do this. I could just do both of those if I wanted to do that. Another one of these. He's so cute. I really like that paper too. It's turning now because he's already been cut. See down here on that. And this was in my scrap pile, so I don't think I have any more of it. But that's okay. The other thing we could do. Yeah, they are, Liz. They're really, really pretty papers. And they were just setting. Just, I don't know how many years my papers have been setting. I thought, it's time to bust them out, Deb, and we are going to do some damage here. We've got to get some, some good things going. So, yeah, I love the papers. Um, what was I going to tell you? I was going to tell you something. I need more coffee. We're going to be staying up like this. We'll have to be the late night crafter crew. That's what we could be, Liz. How would we do this? I think, uh, should I find another piece of, I don't know, I could find another piece of paper, I suppose. I don't want to run the same ones in here, and I've already got kind of that structure in here at the top. Maybe I could just use no, it's not good. Um. What do you think? Get another paper. <laughs> Let's see what I got. Let's see what I got. Kicking real quick. I didn't know I was going to go live, but I'm sure, glad, I'm sure I'm glad you were up and resting so you could join me. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
this is always one of my more favorite ones. Let's see what it's got. A haberdashery. Oh. Oh. oh, she's so pretty. I could never get rid of this book. It's just always been breathtaking to me. Let's see. Well, let's see what it on there first, huh? Give me this. Oh, she'd be cute, really, if you, if we could just get her, that'd be cute, too. What else we got? Cooking. I don't want to take all day long to make a decision, but oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. It's haberdashery. What else do you do but take all day to look through haberdashery? I just love this paper. Um, ooh. Ooh. Let's check out this blab. DCW? I have no. It's paper Studio. I'm thinking, since I'm doing such a old grunny grunge type of look in this journal. I'm the black. Let's see what it does for me. Ah, just to feel it. Mm. Mm. Okay. Get a, I don't mind it. I really don't mind. Did you notice this color in here? Let me show you. I think I have a little tad piece. Look at that. Can you see how that just, well, it just really shines and blends in there. That's really nice. Glad I chose that. Anyway, here we go. Now I've got black and brown, but honestly, I think I'm going to make it work. I think we're going to make it work. Okay, I want two more. So, how far over do you go? Too bad. Too bad at all. I'm always losing my pencils. And this is merely because I hate to measure. I just did back to what I had. I say that's enough. Okay, kiddo. There we go. Me too. Line myself up to where I think I need to be at. Doing my my cut on my haberdashery. I just love that paper, and it's not all that thick. In this case, I'm kind of glad because putting that fold line in there on those tabs are. It, it comes out thick. If the paper's gotten, you know, overboard thick, yeah. And the, I think the thinner, the better off I'd be. I'd also like to do, like I said, to take some of my scraps and just, you know, start doing, start doing that stitching thing on them. And then... See how that comes out. I'd also like to take a few laces. I'm thinking about doing that too. It's just maybe run a little tea dyed, uh, tea dyed or coffee dyed lace down here. Maybe just right in the center. Give it something. Maybe up here at the top. Just give it something kind of cute to go by, you know. Oh, it is. I love working with it. Really, I do like the weight of it. It's just kind of not too heavy for this, especially for this guy. He's kind of. He can be kind of, oh, I forgot to do the quarter line. Oh, well, it doesn't matter if he's thin. He's okay. He'd be okay. He'd be okay. So, I'm about out of glue, which is just perfect. Can't find my glue piece. We got to that at. Okay. Okay. 
and it's too long, but that's okay. I'll okay, cut him off. Yes, I need to get some more of this stick glue. And um, and I was just in at Walmart too, but uh, they didn't. Ha they had the small glue sticks, but they didn't have this purple one, Mike String. I really kind of like Mike String. There we go. So. What do I do with that? Okay, here we go. Oh, that's pretty. I like it a lot. It's good. So now that's kind of a great. Hmm. Maybe I don't need Liz. Maybe I don't need the uh, this. Like this is a piece of Manila file folder. Maybe I don't need it on some of this. Maybe you could just get by without, you know, having all that weight on there. That's the only thing that is really bothering me. And if I want to lay stitches on this, it's only going to strengthen it more. Really, I would think. I like the glue stick a lot better than the liquid because I don't, that liquid often warps my paper. And it's probably me, you know, getting too much glue on. But... Uh, yeah, I can do that. I can do my glue stick. I actually decoupage with the glue sticks before I use my podge. I don't get any wrinkles. It comes out perfectly. It's fast. It dries quickly. We're done. So I'm, I'm kind of a big, I'm just a big glue stick fan, I guess, you might say. Because that's what I do a lot of seems like. Yeah, I think I will. I think I'm going to, no, I don't know. This is, you can feel it's a little bit more firm. I think a person could do it any way they want to on this, really. If you didn't want to use, like I use this uh, leftover manila folder as a stiffener, you know, so that you could use it as a tab. But I found that some of this is really stiff. So you may not want to do that. You may want to just use your papers. This is about getting rid of scraps anyway for me. And um, I had file folders and things like that that I just didn't want to throw away because I know I can use them somewhere. Which this is how my craft room gets overran. But yeah. I'm just going to go ahead and place the little booger in there. And then, uh, yeah, see what we think about that. Okay. And I'm not going to, I'm not going to, I had the fold on these, you know, but I'm not going to adhere them yet because I'm pretty sure I want to, I want to take my uh, sewing machine around them, kind of do a little stitching on there. Yeah. Yeah. That's kind of how I am right now. I just, I don't know. And this one here is just like a piece of... I don't know. Something I saved off of a box, I guess. I've been saving for so long, I can't even tell you for sure what I've been saving. Well, that's kind of cute. You could actually take this thing and straighten this up a bit. 
I hate it when I do this. I get off task because I see something like a kid in a candy stick. And then if you took your circle punch and just you know did a half punch on there, ran your stitching down through here, he'd be cute inside of inside of a button. You may have to narrow him up. He might be a little but no, he's not. He's he'd be perfect. Maybe. After you do that fold, he may not be perfect. But anyway, what I'm saying is you could easily use that too. Okay. All right. There we go. Okay, so we have him kind of glued together. And um, I need to put a tab okay, at the other end. So I'm going to take this. And I guess I will run it, yeah, because there's my quarter inch down through here. I always make a little sample up so I know what I'm running with. Okay, so I can use this. And we're going to do a little, a little notch off in here. I think the key of this is you better have a punch board. I don't know for sure. What else I would use if I didn't have a punch board? I'd have to think about that. All I can think of is a different type of punch, which would be like a paper punch. But you know, oh boy, this thing's thick. Ah. And then my other piece is right about here. Am I in camera? I'm in camera. Okay, here we go. Now I got my punch into there, and bring my board back out. And then cut that off. Oh Lord, I love my punch boards too. I'm so glad you got some. <laughs> we could be at the punch party. This would be so clever. Yeah, out. Yay. And then I'm gonna run my quarter inch on here too while I got it out. There we go. There we go. No, they got a new one out. Oh no, that's all. That's all we need. It's just all we need. More punch boards. What does it do? I mean, we're making envelopes with this, and that's pretty awesome. I think. I think maybe. What does it do? The wrong side. I still did it wrong. Shoot. How did I do that wrong? I needed to put the punch. I needed to put the punch over here on this side. Okay. That's no problem. Here we go. You just bent your fold wrong, I think. She starting to sweat it there. Yeah, I bent my fold wrong the wrong way. Oh, okay. Okay, that sounds great. I can I can start working on my Christmas list. See then. Don't want to let anybody down. <laughs> and he say, and what does mom want? Oh, let me get you my list. <laughs> Oh, yeah. That's cute. Kind of like that in there. Oh, these are kind of cute. Okay? These are kind of fun, Liz. Might have to do... Might have to do some more. I'm sure they go quicker once I figured out everything about them. But 
They're not that hard. And that's, that's the best part. It's kind of cute. Did you see how that came out? Oh, I like that. Where are you at? There we go. I just need, I think I need one more. Don't you? So I don't want to be, because I got a bow coming in the center. Yeah, that would look Edward Otley. It would look like I was missing one. So let's put one over here. Let's put one over here. Which one shall I put over here? I have just, yes, taken, taken my book to a whole new level. I'm excited. This is fun. Gonna have a lot of fun here, kiddos. I just don't want to have the same. I think that's my problem is I don't want to have the same papers. But the idea the front and back of the same one there, and it looks pretty good. I think I'll do that. I think I'll do it on this one. I'll just run a front and back. Have I ran this? No, I've not even run this. Okay. Good. You're looking forward to, to the new one? Okay. Okay. When I get off of here, then I'll go check my messages. Oh, I appreciate it. Yay. Thank you, Liz. Way to get me in more trouble. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Let's see. Let me put one right about here. This is fun. We're going to have to do this, Liz, one day. Or maybe we can make like a like a Christmas type book or something like that. A winter, winter book. Huh. <laughs> it is kind of fun, but, I, you know, we can't admit to that because then everybody gets angry. <laughs> That's okay. That's all right. We're actually good people deep down inside. Good, good folks. Don't mean any harm. <laughs> okay. Got paper on there. Can go for some more glue. He says, Lady, you are not getting too much further from me. Let's see if I got some more. Excuse me. While I reach over you, please. Okay, so we got some more in here. Oh my. He's kind of melted. I got this new stuff. I'll have to wait until one of my muscular men to open that one up. Let's see if I get that in here. Well, I can't get it's hard to say what I did with it then. But I know I got this other stuff that's over here. Maybe I should try it out. This one is called. Oops. Sorry about that, Liz. <laughs> it kind of went wild on you. This one here is called. Uh, quit. Scotch Wrinkle Free Glue Stick. Didn't know if you've heard of them or not. I took one of them out and I can't figure out what I did with it. But that's the name of that one. Top. I always save the top in case I like it. Now, <laughs> so I can't remember what it was. Okay. Well, how does this work? Okay, so you twist it. Okay. Let's see what it does. Sure, my edges are done. A damn, damn. And that's a big blue of glue. Was I supposed to get that? Yeah. A little, a little globby there. Unlike my Elmer's, 
this is the one I like. The, this one here, and it's the purple glue. So it dry, it goes on purple, but it dries clear. Boy, that light is just perfect. Yeah, it's that. Anyway, that's the one I like. That I will now have to for sure. I can't get the lid off the other one. I don't know what happened there. I just had it set in the side. Oh well. Which one? The purple glue or this scotch? That's the first time I've even seen the scotch glue, and I don't know for sure where I even picked it up at. But. I must have thought of getting Bray that day, and then there you go. Yeah, that's cute. Yeah, that's cute. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay. So many little nasties off that I don't want. Yeah, I think I think it does need a little stitching on it though. I think I might run a little, some sort of trims, either paper or lace or something on here. I think that might do something. Then again, if you run a pocket on here, oh, the purple boy, yeah, I love that purple boy. That's my fave. They don't ever have that in the back to school sales stuff. They never have that stuff setting out. It's it's always the little the little ones that. I don't believe it worked too awful well for me. That's okay. I just wait until I can find the purple one. And I was just in there early this morning. Didn't even think about it. Oh well. These things have happened. Okay. Now I've got my quarter inch fold at the bottom. I would like to put another. Yeah, I'd like to put another, um, didn't I just have, yeah. So I want it this way, I think. This goes over here this way. This one. Yeah. So this sets this way, so you're gonna want to go up with one inch or so this way. Okay. Where's my pencil? Here we go. And then I'm gonna punch another um another time. We can hardly see that that paper's so dark right there. And one more time in here. So we have our fourth one ready to go let's see yeah. do I like it there okay oh my gosh <laughs> Whew. almost had to sit on that one Liz that was that was a toffee. Uh, I don't know. They probably do. And they're not purple. They're just not they're not the right one. Yeah, get it. Okay, so I got this little turd. Little turd nugget. Like that. Then I'm gonna take this off. Mercy. Okay. Almost ready. I'm going to take my scissors and just nip and tuck them in just a little bit. There we go. Okay.
Where is that getting at? One thing about it, when you make one of these books, you better have enough paper to install four of these tabs. You know, you might just be running up on each other if you don't. Oh, yeah, you are so cute. Yes, I love it. I love it. Okay, so now we have... Ah, Okay, I would say I need to run uh, my inker along in here because I can see, where are you at? Because I can see paleness over there. And then I need, and I, like I said, I'm not going to put them down in there yet because I want, I think I want to run a stitching line in here. You may want to run something else too you know trigger it up a bit when you get in there i think it's kind of cute like that i think we could do a lot with this see this little bag here he's just a really grand idea i don't know you could make paper ruffles you know ruffle this thing up a bit and maybe put him down but i don't want to have too much or it won't want to close but just too much down in there and get it too heavy Oh, you're so cute. Yes, this is going to be fun. Me, me. We may want to consider doing this, Liz. That's a nice little, nice little thing to do. Here. Yeah, you're cute. You are so cute. I like you a lot. Okay. Yeah, I definitely I think I need to ink him because I can see, yeah, I can see where it's not. Well, that especially that manila it file folder thing, it really, it holds out here a lot. I don't know what is up with you, Mr. Cameraman, but you need to give me a break here. But you can kind of see anyway, this is my little tab areas here. They're really kind of cute. Along in here, you'd be able to... Put a little stitching lines, maybe do a little stitch art if you wanted to do that. It's definitely something flatter because you're gonna you're gonna make this look a little too thick if you don't. <laughs> okay, sounds great. Anyway, we have a we have a, a little video of how to do what here. I didn't really I just made a video on the tabs mainly. I didn't really do anything on the book, but the book. We can do it some other time if you want to. I've got to, I've got to start this thing and get it so cute and cleverly done. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I'll sure, I sure treasure these little things. I think they're fun. I just can't keep the camera where I can see it. <laughs> anyway, I probably ought to go and get uh, get some uh, other stuff done. But thanks for joining me. I really do appreciate it. I guess I didn't know I was going to go live. I could have. How would you attach the text? They stay loose. No, they're not going to say. Well, I guess they could stay loose. I never really thought about them staying loose. Um, I put this one quarter inch fold line. Right down in here. And then I was going to use my tape. And just strip along here. And make sure that I am completely ready to install this thing. Because there is, you know, there's no forgiveness on this tape. But the thing about it, that tape will hold, you know, buildings together. Yeah, score tape. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah. That's how I'm going to do it. Uh, unless you, if you can come up with something else, I should be maybe considering here. I would definitely go listen to that too. But so far, I'm thinking on my own, girlfriend. This is <laughs> sometimes that's not the best either. 
and and you may not have to have four. Maybe somebody just wants like we could take this out. Looky here, we got that and that. You know, maybe that's what they want. I, I don't know. It's however many they want. I personally like the number four, but that's just that's just me. So anyway, I think it's about lunchtime over here. I'll see if somebody get the glue lid off of this and set it out. But uh, yeah. Hope you got your laundry all done and uh, you're ready to start a great day because <laughs> mine is mine is great. As long as I can craft, I have a great day. Um, you know what? I, I did not know I was going live either. So I will have to uh, kind of give you a heads up, I guess. And yeah, maybe it'd be more that might want to come to visit too. Who knows? Anyway, I'll, uh, I'll try and let you go. I'll talk to you later, girl. Bye-bye.